Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to this video. Today, I'm very excited because I'm going to try Essence Makeup. And I think I tried maybe two or three of their products, but they were not available here in Sweden. I remember that my friend Valerie sent me uh, their mascara that I tried, and I really like that mascara. And also, when I was in Croatia last year, I bought, I think, a glitter glue and some lip pens from Essence Makeup. But here in Sweden, they were not available. So, finally, Lico.se started to sell their products, and I bought full face of makeup from Essence. So if you're interested to see that, then please keep on watching. So today I have two bronze, bronzers. This is matte bronzer powder. I have in two shades. Um, one is lighter, one is darker. I want to see which one will suit it better, which one is better for me. Then I have instant matte makeup setting spray. I have a couple of different palettes like this but I bought this one because I don't own any shades like this so I was interested to buy this shade hello New York then I have some lipsticks I have to think two different shades a lip gloss I think I have different shades of lip glosses some other lipsticks I have in here I have this matte all about fixing powder looks very white I have couple of blushes also from them. I have two different foundations. I bought one shade, I think it's number three, but I have two different foundations. I have Insta Perfect Liquid Foundation, Strong Matte Effect water Waterproof Buildable Coverage. That sounds interesting. Then I also have this uh, Essence Stay All Day, 16 hours long lasting makeup. I bought both of them in 30 soft sand. I think it was only available in like five or six different shades. Then I have, yeah, they taped everything so it doesn't leak. A liquid highlighter, liquid highlighter, uh, one of their mascaras. This is Essence Lash Pr Princess Mascara. I have Mattifying Pore Minimizing Primer. Oh my God, I have their Stay All Day Long Lasting Concealer. Then I have a Volumizing Booster Lash Prime also that I want to try. Then we have Camouflage Matte Concealer. I have two different concealers here. And then I have another concealer in another shade also. Let me see. Then I have Essence Color Instant Eyeshadow Base. I have an eyeshadow primer. And let me see. I have an... Um, eyebrow pencil and I think this is lip liner lip liner Kyle and uh, lip liner I think we should start uh, I don't know which foundation I want to start start with um, I think I want to try this and this finish is the perfect liquid makeup strong matte effect waterproof I think I'm going to try this in another video this is also in shade 30 uh, but i want to try this waterproof this one is also waterproof essence stay all day 16 hours long lasting makeups in 30 soft sand so let's try this mattifying pore primer it says the air light texture with natural black clay has a mattifying effect without weighting down the skin it minimizes pores optically for an even complexion, the texture is translucent upon application, use alone or under the makeup. So we are going to try it under makeup. I already moisturized, moisturized my skin. So, oh, this looks gray. That's uh, it. It has a strong perfumey scent. It's not a bad scent, but it's very strong. It feels very nice, moisturizing. Oh, it feels light also. It feels very moisturizing, cooling to the skin. I don't know if did if it made anything any difference. I don't see it right away, but we'll see how it's going on the how it's going to look under the foundation. So, so far, uh, it's a little bit tacky, but I do kind of like it. It's, it's a strong smell. 
So when I have had a carbon, definitely use this one because it smells very strong, but maybe it will disappear. And then we are going to go in the foundation. No, let's go into the eyeshadow primer. I love color instant intensifying, intensifying eyeshadow base. It says eyeshadow base for long lasting and color intensive eyeshadow. So let's try that. And it's a nice dope eyeshadow. Let's see if it has any coverage. It's very, it feels very liquidy. Kind of reminds me of that Urban Decay primer. Oh, now my skin is dry. It feels very soft and moisturized. I like this. Uh, and my pores look a little bit smaller. So I'm liking that face primer, but it just smells so strong. Then I'm going to use this shade. I really hope it's going to work for my skin tone. I'm going to try it with a sponge and with a brush. It has a nice pump. Oh, this will definitely be a little bit too dark for me. That's dark. But it looks so light. Swatches on the web, on the internet. Yes, this is definitely dark. And... Um, well, maybe it will suit me when I get more tan. Definitely too orange. Let's try it with a sponge. I have um, this microfiber sponge. Definitely wrong shade. Too, too, too dark. I love having more shades. Oh, this is applying beautifully with the, with the sponge. It feels very light, even. I like it. It's a nice coverage. It feels like it's full coverage also. I like how this is applying with the sponge. So I will apply on the other side too. I won't experiment. I definitely need to use two pumps for a side. But we have concealer, we can definitely light it up a little bit if we want to. I look so tan. <laughs> so, so tan. But I really like the coverage. I really like how this feels light on the skin. I'm liking the foundation. Of course, it's a wrong shade, but I do like the foundation a lot. It feels like my skin. It doesn't look cakey. So far, I'm really liking this foundation. It's wrong shade, but definitely all the lighter one if it's going to look good after a couple of hours doesn't look cakey i like it let's go into the concealer on it i will try this darker one if it's too dark then i will open the light one if it's not i'm going to leave this light in and maybe give, oh this is going to be perfect so the other one i have i don't know which, what shade it is i will put it in one of my giveaways in the future so somebody else can try it So this dries down very fast. Oh, I will maybe go into this other. I don't know how I feel about this concealer. It's light coverage. Now it's a medium coverage, but it kind of oxidized a little bit. Let's put this concealer too. Ultra cover liquid concealer with matte finish. Covers instantly dark circles, blemishes and tattoos. Long lasting and waterproof. I do like this concealer that I have just applied. This stay all day 16 hours, but it feels like it, I don't know, oxidized that a little bit. Let's try this other concealer that we have. Waterproof tattoo cover. Courage. 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 Nice, like applicator. This one is definitely a little bit lighter. Let's see how this will cover. This one. It says matte. Definitely full coverage. I'm liking the, con the concealers. They blend very nice, both are done, very easy to blend. I like it. So I have to say that right now I really, really love the concealer. Really love both concealers worked fine. I like them.
let's set everything before it starts to move. I'm going to use this All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I hope it won't give me flashbacks. It's very, very white, but I think it's translucent. Extre extremely smooth fixing compact powder for a matte and natural finish all day long. Helps to blend blush and foundation color together. Fix makeup when application as finished powder for all skin types. Okay, let's put this under the eyes. Ooh, it smooths everything. That's nice. I really like how it smooths everything. So I'm going to set the foundation with this powder too. I'm just going to take this fluffy brush. In real life, it looks very nice and very smooth. I really like the foundation. I do need to buy another shade because I really, really like how this foundation sits on my skin. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I bought this Essence Eyebrow Design Pencil. This is number two with brush. I don't like these brushes, but we'll try to... I like spoolie more, but there is no spoolie. So let's try this pencil. It's a nice pencil. It's a little bit hard. Uh, very... Um, the color it's not perfect for me, but if I use a light hand, it doesn't want to show up. But if I push a little bit harder, then it comes, then it's too pigmented. So I don't know. The pen it's not my favorite. I don't like it. Eyeshadow primer did crease a little bit, but I'm going to set blend it and set it with some powder. This powder. I have two shades, bronzers. Uh, I have this one. This one is O2 Natural and O2 Sunny. And I'm going to use this natural that is a little bit lighter. This one looks nice. And the shade, um, yeah, I know. I don't know if it's going to show on this, but let's try and use it as a contour first. Contour. And see if it's going to show up on my skin. Yeah, it does. It does. It does want to show up. Let's use a... Oh, this smells nice. Let's use a bronzer brush and bronze my skin. And it blends very, very nice on the skin. Really like the bronzer. The other shade to uh, Sunny, I'm going to also leave for another giveaway. Because this one is very soft, but it's buildable. And I think that one will be perfect. Also, if, even if you have lighter skin tone, just use less of the product. And this one blends very, very nice. The next product we're going to try is blushes and I bought two shades, Touch Blush, this is in shade Peach Me Up and this one is Touch Blush in Bury Me Up. So I'm going to open both of them and I'm going to swatch and see which one I like more. I have nice stars in here, nice soft peach color, let's see this shade bury me up oh this one is also nice pigmented i'm going to use this one right now because my foundation is a little bit darker i'm going to use my favorite blush brush bh cosmetics number two oh i like it they blend very very nice I love blushes. Everything looks so nice and smooth. I love foundation. I'll definitely directly go and buy another shade. This one is too dark, but I will definitely buy a light one because I love this foundation. It looks like my skin. I hope it will last the whole day. Okay, I love the blushes. Definitely keeping both of them. 
Uh, then I have a liquid highlighter. Um, no, this is a foundation. Liquid highlighter. They didn't have any powder highlighter on the website. But they did have the liquid. Where is it? Uh, they sealed everything so it won't leak. That's good. Lovely eco for that. This is Gold Addiction Liquid Highlighter. Apply or launch to set highlighter or mix with foundation for all over the glow. Shake well. I did powder my face and I used a lot of the powder and also bronzer and blush. But I want to see how this is going on with my fingers because I'll be loving this liquid, bronze, uh, liquid um, highlighter from Pract. I use my fingers and it doesn't matter how much powder I have, it blends beautifully on top. It doesn't remove my makeup. So I have high hopes for every liquid product or high, highlighter. Let's try it on. So much. It looks like a very, very nice shade. Very nice shade. It looks very liquidy though. It's very liquidy. Let's try it. Not, it's not really blending very easy on top, but it looks nice. I like the shade. It doesn't remove my makeup when I use the finger. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Let's use the sponge on the other side. I prefer finger. Maybe it would be, work better if I didn't powder my face, I'll definitely try it because it does dries down very fast. Let's try the eyeshadow palette. This is a shade. It has a nice small mirror. They look nice. I'm going to use this fluffy brush, blending brush. And I don't know. This looks shimmery. Yes, it does. Let's try this gray color. I'm not really in love in gray shades, but this is like gray purple. And put it on the crease. I mean, I can't say anything about this color because it doesn't really want to show up. It's very light. It's I can see it, but it's not too gray, which I do like. I don't really like grayish. It looks strange on me. This one looks nice. Okay, I'm going to use another more pointier blending brush. And I want to go in with this darker purple, not purple, gray color. They are kind of hard pressed. Uh, this is true gray. So this will be interesting. So this gray, it's not really blending as I would like it to. It's not bad, but and they look a little bit patchy. They look patchy. It's so hard to blend. I'm going to use this purple. I don't know, they are patchy. I'm not really liking this. What's wrong? I can't see what's wrong with this. I don't know if you can see, it doesn't want to stick here. Let's try another brush. Let's use this small, small brush and use that purple again. I don't really like these matte shades. These two, they are very hard to blend and they, I really tried hard, but it doesn't really work. So I will just leave it like it is and I'll go in with with a concealer to cut the crease. I'm going to use this all day 16 long lasting concealer. 
I mean, this palette is so cute, it looks beautiful, but they are so hard to blend. So I'll take this, this small brush and go back to that purple and try to blend here a little bit. not working and I'm sick of how patchy that is hate it okay let's go in I'm going to take my best brush for packing shimmery shades this is 305 from Linda Halbert and actually I really want to use this purple shade here light purple This is a beautiful shade, I really like it. I really like this purple shade, it's very, very beautiful. I mean, it's not like very metallic. Uh, let's try this blue here, this one. My camera is stopping, st stop filming. This blue one is also very nice. I don't have any fallout from the eyeshadows, but I would prefer fallout from patchiness, if I have to be honest. I'm so confused. I love the shades, but I hate this palette. I'm so disappointed because I really, really wanted something like this. It looks stunning, but it just doesn't want to work. I'm going to wet the brush and I'm going to apply this purple. I mean, the best shades are the metallic or shimmery, I don't know what to call them. So I'm going to wet the brush and apply more of this purple. Just see how it's working wet. Yeah, it works better. They are a little bit like a duochrome. I like this. I like this. This blue and purple shade, I like. They work nice. But the matches are terrible. Yeah, let's try this purple. Use it on the lower lash line. I really don't. I don't like how this makeup look turned out. Or the eye look. Or I got some eyeshadow in my eyes and it doesn't feel good. Okay, I want to swatch these two shades this one and this one this white one looks so nice it looks like a duochrome bluish kind of shade i like that one let's clean this brush and i'm going to use this in the corners yeah that's beautiful and i'm going to clean that brush again i'm going to go in with this shade under my eyebrows. And I'm going to set everything. Use this instant matte makeup setting spray. It says keep your skin beautiful matte with instant matte makeup setting spray. That's a nice mist. Yeah, the face looks flawless. I really like the face makeup, how it turned out. I don't like the highlighter at all. Uh, it kind of looks strange, but the, the foundation looks nice. The bronzer is beautiful. It didn't settle into my fine lines. It's so I don't think you're going to like this foundation if you have dry skin because it's matte. Let's try the mascara and the primer. So let's try this Volume Boost Lash Primer. And this is supposed to lash primer for maxim maximize volume effect 
with apple oil, mango, butter, and vitamin E. Okay, let's shake it. It looks like it's a nice packaging. I will apply it on one eye. It def definitely made my eyelashes a little bit longer. So I'll apply it on one eye and I will leave one eye without because I want to see how this mascara works. This is Lash Princess False Lashes Effect Mascara. Let's shake it a little bit. I don't know if you should shake it or not, but I will do that. And let's try it on this eye. And see how it's going to... Oh, I like the brush or applicator. Let's see without eyelash primer. I mean, it's very... Um, makes them very thin and long. Let's try it on the side with the primer. Wow, on this side with primer, I don't know if you can see, but it's a big difference. This is without eyelash primer, this is with eyelash primer. And it's a, and it's a one coat. Let's apply, apply second coat on the side without eyelash primer. Second coat definitely gives me the effect like this with primer. Uh, let's give second coat to this side with the primer. I like this side with the primer more than this one without primer, but we'll see how this is going to last during the day. If it's going to flick or it's going to smudge. I don't know if it's... Sometimes when I use eyelash primer, it smudges more and flakes more. But we'll see if it's going to do that, if this one is going to do that. Okay, I like this mas mascara. I think it looks nice. I hope it will stay and not smudge. Okay, we have then a couple of lipsticks. I have different lipsticks. I have three different lipsticks. And I have three different lip pens. Let's see lip pens first. Yeah, let's see, this is in shade gold going study it's a nice shade I like these lip pens I bought two when I was on vacation in Croatia and I like this this one was never too late it's more dark brown shade and it's sh said deeply intoxicated so I don't know which one I will use. Let's see how the lipstick goes. I have these lipsticks. They look very, very cute. The packaging it looks very nice. It has an E on. And let's see how the lipstick looks. Oh, this shade looks nice. Let's swatch it here. They look creamy. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting, look very creamy. This is shade color up shine on let's see this one this is shine on four and this is shine on ten so this is number ten and this is number four they don't have any other names just numbers this is more like a gray color it looks like glosses that one looks interesting and then I have also this lipstick. This is in shade gray. So on gray. Instant color ultra last number five. And this one looks interesting. More like purple gray color. I think this one will work for me right now. For this lip. I, or I will go over to, now this one looks interesting. Let's see the lip gloss. I also bought a lip gloss. This is lip plumping nude lip gloss in shade extra, I think. So extra. Mm, this smells nice. Lip gloss smells like a candy. Let's see. I like, oh, it's a nice color. I don't know if it's going to go with this one. I then I have another one in called XXL Charm, this peachy golden shade. I, 
I think this color looks very nice. Let's see here. This it has like a peach gold shimmer to it. You can't really see, but I think it's going to work better over this lipstick, which which I want, and that one I want to apply. And we'll go in with this lip liner that's called Going Study. So I really like this lip pen. It's not too hot, it's not too creamy. I like it a lot. And let's go in with this lipstick. It's very interesting color. It looks a little bit uneven, but we'll apply. But it feels very nice on the lips. Interesting shade. And I'll put some lip gloss on top. Let's try this lip gloss. I like this lip gloss. I really like this lips, lipstick too. More for fall, but I like the color. I don't have anything like this. Interesting. So guys, that is full face essence makeup. So let me just say, I like, really, really like this primer. I think it's a wonderful primer. It's, it has a, no, a strong scent, but I can't feel it right now on my face. I really love the foundation. I have to buy another shade. This shade is too dark for me. We can say that. But I did want to make this video just to see. Really like, 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 like this foundation. And it feels so light on the skin. It doesn't exaggerate any texture on my skin. It just feels smooth. And it feels like I don't have makeup. But it dries very fast. So I think I'll try it with a brush. I love the concealers. I think both concealers are very nice. I think this one is more light coverage than this one. This is definitely full coverage. Uh, I will definitely continue using them and play with them a little bit more, but I love both of these concealers. I think they are fine. I really like this powder. I need to try to take a picture. Raise my phone. I'll try to take a picture to see if it's going to give me some flashback. Let's see. doesn't give me any flashback that's that's good i like this picture oh it feels it looks like i have a filter on i like it really like the powder definitely going to continue using it i really really like it it felt soft and made my skin look very very nice and even uh, i'm very curious to try uh, this uh, instant perfect liquid strong matte um, foundation but I do need to buy another shade because it's a little bit too dark. I love the bronzer. I really love the bronzer. I did use this lighter shade. I could definitely take a darker one but I think I'm going to leave that for another go away because this foundation is a little bit too dark and I it smells so nice. Um, but I really 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 like this bronzer. Definitely going to use it. The blushes are wonderful. I like the bl blushes. Uh, I'm I think I'm going to check out more shades because this I did use this darker one and it looks so beautiful on my face. It's very easy to blend. This one is also very this one is also very cute. I like the packaging. I like uh, these blushes. Very very nice. Okay, let's see what do we have more. I hate this palette. I love the blue and this purple shade. I mean I like this shade, this shade, and this shade. I didn't try this one, I didn't try this one, but the other shades that I tried I don't like at all. I don't recommend this one, I don't recommend it. The lip glosses I do like, I like the lipstick. I only tried this kind of lipstick, this is in Instant Color Ultra Soft. There is two like bombs, I love the packaging. The, the colors are very nice, I mean I think they look good. Lip gloss, I really like the lip gloss. I really, really like the lip gloss. I use this one. Uh, eyelash primer looks very nice. I like the eyelash primer. The mascara looks also very, very good. So 
Overall, I'm very happy with almost everything I purchased. Uh, the setting spray, I really like also. I really like setting spray. It uh, made everything look very nice and melt together. It also was very, it dried down very fast. It made everything look nice and even. I really like the setting spray. I do like it. And I will like it even more if it makes my oily T-zone stay matte during the long day. Eyeshadow primer, I uh, it doesn't have a lot of coverage. So for coverage I won't use, I, I don't know. I, it's something like Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. That one doesn't really cover my veins either. But I like Urban Decay primer because it does keep my eyeshadow in place for long hours. I will definitely see how this one is going to work. I do need to wear it the whole day. But I will let you know in another video. Also, I'll definitely order more of that foundation. But overall, I'm very happy with almost everything. I forgot this primer. This is the Kayal eyeshadow primer. I need to try this one. I'm sorry. I forgot one product. And I want to put that in my waterline. I like this. I like this one. This is the Kayal pencil. Blue. It doesn't really show up these blues in the waterline. You do need to work it in. Of course, it's buildable. Yeah, you need to build it up. I like this one too. So overall, I'm happy with almost everything. The only product I don't like is this one. But yeah, that was everything. I hope you like this video. Please let me know down below if there is any product from Essence that you want me to try. Tell me what you think about this makeup look. I cannot really like the foundation, though it's very wrong shade. Don't comment that. We know it's wrong shade. We know that. I can see that myself. You don't have to tell me. The Ah, the liquid highlighter I don't like. I don't like it. Maybe I'll try it with uh, under, without any powder. And uh, I, I mean, it looks nice, but it's, it doesn't give me that wow effect that I get from that Pract liquid highlighter. And I have other highlighters that I prefer more. So that one, I don't, I mean, I, it's not bad, but it's not my favorite, favorite. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.